Let's talk about one of Mission Workshop's specialty fabrics. Today, deep dive into X-Pack. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews where I buy and test all the gear so you don't have to. And a quick note to my subscribers, I know I've been promising for a long time that I'm going to be having a lot of new gear coming in. There's just been tons of delays with shipping, but don't worry, tons and tons of stuff is going to be here. I promise, the next review in two weeks, new stuff, and we're going to be reviewing new stuff for several months so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't if you don't want to miss these new reviews but this is a special edition of mission workshop reviews fabrics where i take an occasional foray away from reviewing actual products and i look into some of the fabrics and materials that mission workshop uses and today we're going to be looking at a fabric that they use for their bags um that they use infrequently on some bags, exclusively on others. It's a bit of a confusing fabric, so I really want to get into it, and it's called X-Pack. Now, X-Pack is 420D denier nylon. Let's take a look at it. Now, I have it here on a special edition Rambler. Only 30 of these bad boys were made. This is from 2011. It's an old bag, but it's in really great condition. And that's kind of one of the benefits of X-Pack. Now, if you're interested in X-Pack, you can still get it today as Mission Workshop makes several of their Hauser Hydration Packs in X-Pack. Just make sure you select X-Pack instead of HT500. And one of the features of X-Pack, one of my favorite features of X-Pack, is that it comes with the diamond ripstop pattern here. Now, you can get this in a lot of their VX offerings as well, but I've noticed that all of the bags that uh, come with X-Pack, including the housers, will have the diamond ripstop pattern, whereas the HT500 housers do not. They're the same price, though. I think this is nice. It gives a lot of rigidity. But we're not here to talk about the ripstop pattern. We're here to talk about X-Pack. And what is it? Now, Mission Workshop has made an other bag or two using very similar fabric, the VX21 fabric. And I'm going to review that in a subsequent Mission Workshop Reviews Fabrics post. But they're very, very similar. So this one, unlike the 210 fabric, this 420 is going to be a little more um, malleable, nicer hand, less rigid. I don't know. That's the difference between the numbers, 210 versus 420. It's it's like double the, the threading per uh square inch or probably metric per you get my point i'm american so i think in itches, uh, inches uh, not metrics anyway uh another great thing about the x-pack is it has a ptfe membrane that stands for poly tetrafluora carbine uh or ethyl, uh, uh, ethanol uh membrane and and that what it does is in addition to providing an extra layer of weatherproofness uh, it, it's really quite resistant to, to oils and stains. And again, this is bag is from 2011, and I've used this as my EDC in the past. I've used it for all sorts of things, trip, trips and, and airports and, and all that, and it's really abrasion resistant. I mean, look at the bottom here. Look at this. You know, that that's really where a bag takes a lot of its beating, and it, it's really holding up. Great. Another thing that you will notice for anyone uh, who has a Rambler or Vandal at home, um, the bottom of the bags are just in a black Kodura. This X-Pack is entirely, this, this X-Pack edition bag is entirely an X-Pack, completely wrapped all the way around. So, well, not, not in the back, obviously, but you get my point. So... Yeah, I, you know, it, it, it does feel uh, more technical. Uh, it is a little crunchy. So, you know, X-Pack may not be for everybody. I would say that this is really for people that are going to extremely abuse their bag. Um, 
I've used all different types of Mission Workshop bags, HT500, Cordura, uh, Black Camo, which is a 500D Cordura, the VX Cordura, which is a 1000D Cordura. And while I've never, ever, ever had any fails as far as uh, water getting in on any of those bags, wax canvas as well, all fantastic. Some of those materials wet out quicker, meaning they get saturated. Again, I've never had a failure and my contents have never, ever gotten wet. I'm a cyclist, I'm out in all sorts of weather. So I've been in torrential downpours in all of my bags over the years. Um, but I really, really believe that these, these particular bags with the X-Pack or the VX21, which I'll, I'll review, like I said, in a subsequent fabrics uh, post, take the longest to wet out. They really, really are resistant. You know, these are actually waterproof materials. The bag itself can't be labeled waterproof legally because the seams aren't taped. Uh, that's one of the big differences between calling something weatherproof or waterproof. Um, but it, 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 it's a fortress, nothing's gonna get in. Nothing gets in any of their bags, but nothing's really not gonna get in in an X-Pack bag. And I think that's why they decided to make their Hauser, which is really geared towards the mountain bike set um, in an X-Pack option. And and I really hope Mission Workshop um, brings some of the X-Pack back. I know that they're, they're kind of not ending the, the VX line, but uh, we really haven't seen a lot of VX bags come out lately. I don't know, they might be just switching things up. and. HT500 is a great fabric too, but again, I've always been a fan of X-Pack. It's a super strong, durable fabric. It is on the techie side, um, but you know, for certain applications, that doesn't matter. Um, you just you just want something that's really really tough, abrasion resistant, not going to wet out, and can just take 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 a beating. And 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 that's that's what X-Pack is. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in two weeks.